So nano magnets are very similar to what you would put on your fridge or you know these bulk magnets that we're familiar with in everyday life. Except you're just now shrinking the size all the way down to the nanometer regime. Molecular nanomagnets are magnets that are you know, 40,000 times smaller than what the human eye can see. These types of materials have potential in next generation electronic devices. So if you can have a magnet that has like a north and a south pole, if you can orient it say up or down, then that can behave like a one or a zero in today's binary computers. What I like most about this kind of work is that you are at the, you're making new frontiers in science. You're studying uh, new molecules or new materials that will be implemented into future uh, devices. I'm working on things that have a direct influence on other people's lives, and I realize that that's the type of work that I want to pursue. I've seen Andrew um, quite a bit at, uh, in the hallways working pretty hard. It's a real pleasure to see students come in and, you know, as young people and, and watch them sort of progress scientifically and, and he's, um, you know, he's done better and better and better and, and to a point where we have a very large graduate program um, and so when you hear about students doing well, um, it's usually because they've risen to the top and they're doing exceptionally well. Um, and, and in his case, um, you know, he's one of those students that people talk about. This is a great place for chemistry, especially inorganic chemistry. It's a really hands-on learning experience that I think is really beneficial. Find research that you love doing, that you really want to study further than what anybody else has done. Do research that you want to push back the frontiers and want to make it your life.